guys welcome back to Pentestress Club. Today we are going to discuss about spider food. So what is spider food? So this package contains an open source intelligence automation tools. It's a goal to automate the process of gathering intelligence about a given target which may be an IP address, domain name, host name, subnet, ASIM, email address, person name. Spider food can be used offensively as a part of black box or pen testings or gather information about target or defensively to identify what the information you or your organizations are freely providing an attacker gain that access. So for that, so now we can see this uh, come to here then you can go here then click on OSINET analysis you can get it from spider foot here okay so for this you can close this one you can open a terminal then type spider foot then click on enter so minus h so if you want to run a spider foot okay you can click on this one to, uh, minus here means IP and port so you can type spider foot minus here and IP address 192.168.43.73 that's it so you need to use your target IP address here so you can see your target IP address is I have config you can see this is the IP address you need to put and you can use any port here so I am already running this one spider port so I don't want to run this here okay then so I can see here show you here so it's already running you can see the warning the resource it's already is running okay so you need to go to this uh, target IP address okay then come back open these things okay so you can click on this so you need to enter the ip address and you come here click on this so click on new scan so you need to use here target domain name or uh, uh, you can see here your scan target may be used one of the following spider foot will automatically detect the target type of base on the target format of your input like domain name IP address IPC IP version 6 address host name or uh, subdomain subnet Bitcoin address email address phone number address human names usernames network ASIN okay so now we want to try with uh, domain name for this we can use any one of the target domain is like you can input like uh, let's try hack me okay now you can type try hack me dot com so you want to do a footprinting investigate on passive okay and you can click on required data you can click on everything and required data it's required for us okay by module like you can see like abstract api abuse.ch everything is available for us here uh, email address extractor everything we can get it from here so then you can click on run scan now so it will generate one scan id uh, for this one okay We need to wait for so here this is the scan id ca71fd26 so we need to wait for this one okay so spider food can gather more like you can see here that will be a, let it be scanning that one we don't want to disrupt now okay domain name ip address ipc six address subnet bitcoin address email address phone number 
domain name, usernames, and network ASM. Okay, now click on scans. So you can see I already tried with the uh, before too. Okay, you need to think here like it's uh, started. Once it's come uh, finish, it will be highlighted with the green. So basically you can think uh, red is critical, then it is uh, low and okay. Okay, for this you can, I will show you. This is one thing. So this is a previous scan which I was scanned. Yeah, I can show you this summary. So you can click on summary. You can see the data here. Affiliate email address, BGPS membership, blacklisted IP address, co-hosted sites, co-hosted sites and domain names, country names, IP address, malicious IP address, net block members, physical address, physical coordination, physical location, raw data, IPs. So you can get including if you have any one of the your victim IP address, you can get his address also through the spider foot. Okay, you can click on physical locations. You can see San Francisco, California, US. Then click on browse. You can see raw data and APIs. So it will give full address in this raw data okay then click on malicious IPs you can see malicious IPs you can click on this it can shows the malicious IP what is the wrong in this you see protect.net so So this is their internet service provider, you can see. So you can see the uh, risk is high. Data elements is for entity consideration malicious by multiple sources. This you can inject this one. Even you can see the graph also, you can see. This is the main IP address. This is the lender Alliance, United States. Their IP address, how they was using. So you get here a full complete scan information. That's it. So now you can come back, click on scans. So, as of, uh, I try with Indonesia also, you can see, click on this one. So, it's still running the scan. So, directly click on browse. So, you can see here, you no need to do any type of EMF scans or any other things. You can get it here, open TCP ports, open banners also, okay. So, you want to try with this, okay. You can see, I will tell you. If you want to try this one, like copy this, open new tab, and click on paste and go. You can see directly you are getting authorized there uh, directly the IP addresses. So you need to for cracking this it will take you for more than like 20 to 40 minutes. Their user ID and password everything. So then click on scans. Then now we can check this try hacking. The final thing.
so you can see total 775 785 unit queue is 681 so they are using aws cloud storage also okay in the try hack me then click on correlations so it's not at found any type of uh, things then click on browse you can see the web content raw data from apis linkedin urls human names http address cloud storage bucket is one that they are using with their aws web servers web content type web content that's it guys you can see then if you go for back it will go again so click on browse now you can see like linkedin physical locations the web servers web content username click on usernames game or anonymous hearts so their usernames everything will be extracted here through a spider foot okay linkedin url internal or external human name http header email address generic post mortar try hacking so this is how you can do the put spider food gathering information gathering email address country name cloud storage bucket you can see try hack me dot dot blog dot co dot windows dot net you can use this information try to inject your own things also and click on draft you can see this is the main target website you can see this one try hackme.com so this is how the graph will can be given so try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a nice day